Now, it's nothing to be concerned about. What is it? Don't worry, he's going to love you just as much as I do. No sudden moves. <laughs> Rupert, it is I, your brother. <laughs> Rupert, he must be taking this morning constitutional. Rupert, perhaps we should have phoned first. Rupert. Yes. Have you been in the aquarium again? No. How many times have I told you we do not eat our pets? We've lost more cats that way. All right, cuddly, cuddly. Rupert, Rupert, no, Rupert. He's very affectionate. <laughs> now come, I'd like you to meet someone. This nice lady is Miss Oaks. Hello, Rupert. Mother? No, Rupert, she's not our mother. She's going to be your sister. Miss Oaks and I are getting married, and we are all live, going to live in Oklahoma. Not mother? All right, if it makes you happy, you may call her mother. Keep smiling, he sends his fear. Mother! <laughs> Rupert! Rupert! No! Rupert! Rupert! Do I need to get the restraints? Oh dear God, he's upset you. Nap time, Rupert. I'm afraid it's the same story every generation or so. The blood will be flowing, blue is the Danube. And suddenly, a piece of mad genetic driftwood. So, your brother is. Mm -hmm. You see, my dear, every royal family, by its nature, has a sort of price that it must pay. Every noble lineage has one loose gene, small as a molecule, flitting around the family pool. It's a sort of thing one sees. In Appalachia, or in the hard Bichon Frise. It really can be such a nasty stain on the escutcheon when a wisp of DNA begins to fray, then goes astray. Caligula had the temper, the Hasburgs had the chin, George III went cuckoo bird, and Nero had the violin. Richard, your lover, had the hope and the withered limb. The bushes of Tex were nervous wrecks because their sun was dim. But look what happened to him. Alas, our family carries a bit of a curse. But darling, it could be a great deal worse. Thus ends the verse. <laughs> Rupert's all about sun and soda pop paws on puppy dogs and decay. Rupert's all about chocolate bunnies and lazy afternoons and daisy chains with the lips rub like this. You can't help but have a happy home with style upon grace and a smile upon his face. And all that's missing is a crown of dust. But Rupert's all about hugs and valentines that are <laughs> Hey Rupert, you're really okay. He likes you. He's eating your flowers. <laughs> Rupert's all about cake and lemonade, milkshake and muzzon and play. Rupert's all about Burmese belly rubs, ground hot casserole on Christmas Day. With the smile, that's a mile and a half, and a laugh, and a hearty how to do, how to do. Since that we a happy family, one plus one plus one makes two. Rupert's crazy about taxidermy, and if you touch me, wear a rubber glove. Let him get to know you and you'll agree that Rupert's 
the happy chappy with the ulcerated ear. Rupert? Who stays awake all night, hollering out with fear? Rupert? Who likes to spend every Saturday at the abattoir? Who gets the catapod if he tries to drink straight from the samovar? Who likes to save up all his farts in a mason jar? You guessed it!